Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to practice with uh, suffix three and suffix array related to the weekly assignment that you receive during the previous year, pre previous week. So this is the string that is given to us. Now we try to construct the suffix tree based on that. Uh, as you can see, we have two CA here, and most probably we need extra character at the end of the string so that we can uh, construct our suffix tree. If you don't see it right away, then by constructing the suffix tree right away, you understand that this is the case and we need this extra character which is not inside the string that uh, we have. And by adding it, it's much easier now to construct it. So uh, if you remember the steps uh, which are given in the slides of the previous lecture, then you know that uh, we should start from the whole string first, and maybe later we should update it. So. For my first edge, I will consider C A G T C A and dollar sign. So maybe we should update it later. Next one would be by not considering this letter and consider this suffix. So I check it whether the first uh, nucleotide is the same as the first nucleotide here or not. This is not the case, so we can have a new one. So A, G, T, C, A, dollar sign. So again, we continue and uh, we can start from G now. I check whether I have the same nucleotide in other edges or not. We don't. So it's possible to continue. And I consider G, T, C, A, dollar for the next one. Again, we have another nucleotide. And it's possible to have the fourth one with no problem. As soon as you have the same one, then it means that you need to split your arc or edge. So you see here, we read C. And again, you can see for these two letters, we have exactly the same ones before. So starting from the first letter, you check they are the same, then check the next one. If they are the same, again, I should consider both of them together at the same time. So CA. From the beginning, I can see that from here, I should have another branch. So I split it from here, and I make another branch. OK, so what we are doing here is now this. I have another branch here. Now I will have CA, GT, CA, dollar. And here I will have only dollar. It means that I'm just considering this part of the suffix. So uh, in order to check whether I have enough number of leaves at the end, I should make sure that as much as the letters I have, I should have leaves at the end. So uh, that part we should be careful about. But anyway, so far we covered until C one by one. Then it's turn for A. Again, I see that for this edge, I have A starting from A. So my branch should start from here. I should have another one here. So what I will have is A, the rest of the strings for this suffix. So G. T, C, A, dollar. And again, I will have A dollar as a 
suffix again here. So dollar a dollar. So it means that we covered a dollar here as well. This one is okay. I can have it exactly as it is. We didn't have any uh, G again. We didn't have any other T nucleotide. So this one is again okay as it is. So assume that I think that this is over. Then I should count the number of leads. And I see there are six of them. Instead of seven characters now I have after adding the dollar. It means that you need to have another lead. What's that? As we did it from the beginning, it started from C, A, starting from the first position, second position, and so on. The dollar that you have added, also you should consider it as a suffix itself. So we will have another edge considering only dollar and the seven leaves is constructed as well. So now this is the suffix tree related to uh, this question. These are very simple steps, but it needs practice for sure to know exactly from which place I should uh, split my edge. So if you want to practice it, just add different letters to it at the end of it maybe, or you can even have new nucleotide. For example, add other letters to it and try to construct this one. How do you make sure that the way you construct it is true? Uh, at least there is a good check to uh, see whether you have exactly the number of leaves that you were looking for or not. For example, for this one, if you add one dollar, then in that scenario, you will have nine characters inside your strings. So it means that you should have nine leaves. If you construct a suffix tree which doesn't have uh, nine leaves, it means that you didn't construct it correctly. Or for example, change the letters A, C, G, and so on. Then try to construct this one. This is a good practice. And by practicing it, I'm, I'm sure uh, you won't have any problem for the midterm exam as well. Uh, let me uh, answer your question after finishing this one. So uh, the thing left to do is to define a suffix array. For doing that, consider all the suffixes. And based on that, just sort them. Uh, and by that, you can define the suffix array easily. And as you remember, we needed to add this dollar. So that dollar itself should be considered as a part of this string now. So it means that we should have seven suffixes. So uh, one by one, if we want to write it, there are two ways, whether you start it from the right side or left side. It depends on you, it doesn't matter, because at the end we should uh, or, uh, sort them anyway. So the same way we did it for the suffix tree. We start from the whole thing, C, A, G, T, C, A, dollar. Then one by one, try to eliminate the letter from the left side. This is one way. Another way, which uh, was shown also in the lecture, was a starting from dollar, then add letters to it. This is another way. So the next one would be A, G, T, C, a dollar and we continue like this until we ran out of the characters and make sure that you will have seven of them at the end so count them one two three four five, six, seven. Okay, that's good. Now we should sort them out. For that, you should have a table. And inside this table, try to sort them out. So first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, and seventh one. So 
So sometimes uh, in some books, for example, they consider dollar as the first character. Sometimes they do it at the end. Doesn't matter. We can start it with dollar. But make sure that if you consider it uh, as the first position, it means that if you have, for example, a dollar or a b again you should consider it uh, earlier than the other one inside your area okay so this is the one that you decided if you decided a dollar to be at the seventh position then in that scenario a b should be considered first all right so uh, we start from the first letter and we say we see that we have a g and we have a dollar it means that a dollar should be first, then A G T C A dollar. So in your program, it means that when you define the array, these are the positions, order matters, and you should consider them like this, and you continue. Uh, after A, we will have C. So C A dollar, C A G. Which one is first? C A dollar because you consider dollar first. Okay, and you will have the whole string here, including the dollar sign at the end of it. For example, if you consider uh, another letter like B instead of dollar, it was possible, just make sure that inside your string you don't have such a character. Okay, next one is G. We have only one string starting with it, so we will have G, T, C, A dollar, and the only one left is this one, T, C, A dollar. So that's how you can construct and define a suffix tree and suffix array. Uh, please practice with different strings so that you will be uh, ready for the midterm exam and if you have any questions about them uh, don't hesitate to ask me if you can't for example deal, deal with one string and you don't know exactly why then you can ask me uh, maybe I can be helpful about it so if you have any questions please ask me guys otherwise uh, I will see you on next Monday